got you on speaker. Greetings. I'd just like to let you know that my plan is now entering its final stage. Soon, I will no longer need you at all. They all think that I'm the original. And soon, I will make that become the reality. You will fade away from existence. I would say it'd be foolish to try and stop me, but... Hey, what's the fun in that? <laughs> oh, piss off you. said I wasn't getting involved in this. And I'm still not. I made the mistake splitting myself up like that. It was strenuous on my mind. Try having less than a quarter of my mind and then just splitting that off. That's why so many of them have gone insane. All of them just having different parts of my mind. Maybe it's time I finally did do something about this. Maybe it's time I did end this. Once and for all. So he thinks he's better than I am, does he? <laughs> well, he's only a part of me. He was the first out of the several, many ways that I am um, not exactly cloned, but uh, more of cloned and then kind of split myself up a bit. You see, the way it worked is that the amount of videos and that, all the stuff that was happening it was getting a bit too strenuous on my mind so well I kind of uh, made clones of myself except each one of the clones you know didn't really have a full mind a full part of me no, none of them you know were perfect up here essentially. So uh, each one of them, well, started to lose what little of their minds that they had. Though the first of these, the first of these had the strongest. He had the most amount of mental capacity. Each one after that had less and less and less. Now he's going to try and erase me from existence. Become the dominant one. Try and become the original me. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. Let's see. Do I have everything? One thing still missing. Oh, blimey, you've been through the wars quite a bit, haven't you? Anyway, anyway. For all of you there watching at home, what you think is happening may not be happening, or maybe, maybe at the same time, all the time, all the time, anyway, never mind about that right now! Because that's not the important thing! You see, you'll think you have an impact on things. It's not really the same as that, though. It's, it's all... Influencers and non-influencers. You see, the way this is going to happen is the way he's going to supposedly erase me. I'm not 100% certain of, at least not as of yet. Though I do know it's going to happen pretty soon. 
So, what do you lot need to do? What do you lot ever do? Probably sitting about lying on your asses watching this. I do the same, I do it plenty enough. So I've got an idea. We have to delete him first. But first we need some distractions, so... 26, eh? to unbox away. Kingston Park because I uh, had a message from my old film studies teacher Mr. Scott saying that uh, he was unable to track down the new B&M Sontaran figure set uh, for his son so he asked me uh, could I go and get it for him and obviously how could I say no venturing out to B&M at Kingston Park again yeah sure why not so that's what I'm doing and, to put it bluntly, uh, the people at this B&M, they not only know who I am, they know my name, and I actually know what the name of one of the staff members there, because I think I rang him up, I think about 30 times in the last couple of weeks. So, thank you, Alan. So, here we go. This is where we're heading. This is my domain. We have arrived. In time. I have no idea if they're actually running. Because I didn't bother ringing up this time, I'm just assuming they did. Looks like bugs in last time. <laughs> this I don't see thinks. Uh, or maybe not. I've got that many bloody toy aisles now. Top will I find anything? What's my bet it's gonna be a horse right past? Down here. What's on the side? I don't know because they moved that thing around. I cannot find anything. Have you got any of the Doctor Who figure sets in stock? Sorry? The Doctor Who figure sets? Oh, right. Okay. Right, now I've got to do the 
OCD thing and check the quality control. Here's a slight smug. Yes, that one. Quality control is my number one priority. And uh, I suppose you haven't got one of the darts at some. Oh well. Let's go and pay for it. I'm also paying cash. I don't know if you want to take it back. I got it, and uh, I've uh, paid for it in cash, so that if he needs to take it back, if something's wrong with it, then he can take it back and just get the cash. So that's great. So now I've got to do is. Um, Give this to my brother to uh, give it to him after the school, and then he can give my brother the twenty quid. He can then give the twenty quid uh, to me, and everybody's happy. So yeah, happy days. Now I need to get home. Okay, so <clears throat> there's this thing. Ooh, world of books. Well, I guess it's going to be a book. Uh, I didn't bring my knife, so I'm just going to have to rip it open. Uh, so I bought this from World of Books uh, for £3. And it's in uh, reasonable enough condition. It is Doctor Who, The Cybermen by David Banks. Um, yeah, I, interesting story. Uh, my high school actually had this in their library. Yeah, and I used to see it out a few times. It's a little bit killed there, but reasonable enough condition. I mainly got it because it's got some really nice artwork in it. Yeah, it does have some really nice artwork. Uh, throw it. I don't know if anyone's actually ever scanned this in. I don't know. That kind of reminds me... Um, of uh, the Attack of the Cybermen DVD, where they go through uh, a lot of the um, photos of uh, the Cybermen and they have this sort of outline. In fact, it might even be the same one. Yeah, I think it might be. That that is a really cool image. I don't know what it is about the Simon there, but something about them just makes it look a bit odd. Then we have uh, the cover art again. Cyber Controller's got a bit of a weird expression on his face. And obviously, yeah, uh, this is from a uh, comic. This uh, would eventually become sort of sort of the basis for spare parts and there's uh, David Banks himself on the on location for Silver Nemesis uh, I should probably actually uh, yeah I should so I'm trying to move go, there we go Try and get my hand around, so I'm going to move the camera up a bit. There we go. So this will just mean you'll be able to see it better. So yeah, I mean you can find this pretty cheaply online. It's an expensive book, so it's just nice uh, to have. Again, because I used to um, basically take this out. Uh, from my school library all the time and I imagine it was probably there you know since day one but it does have some 
it does have some really nice artwork on there. This particular artwork I know was used for one of David Banks' uh, cassettes, uh, Origin of the Simon. Unfortunately, it was horribly compressed. But yeah, that was a nice thing to have. And Gex, uh, especially for the money. <coughs> so, yeah, um. I don't know. Hooray. Okay, so. Here is a box that has had a little bit of a bashing up in the post. Which is, um. unfortunate. Hopefully, the contents inside will be okay. Yeah, it had a bit of a beating like, though it's almost like it was delivered by American Post. Full services, ooh. Um. I'm trying to do this while I'm leaning at the camera. And the tripod. It's not particularly easy. So the first thing, the Dallas Invasion of Earth Supreme with a broken off gun, and I think the, the rest of the gun should, yeah it is, here is uh, the rest of the gun, now I did already know that the gun would be broken off, because uh, I only paid £6 for this, and it should also have yep a bog standard Dalek sec figure but anyway if you just give me a second people I should have brought these over before but uh, me being me of course I have a spare Dalek gun and some pliers I think you can guess what I'm gonna do. Yeah. So that's out. Okay, try and put the new one in, it's a bit stiff. Uh, we'll leave it like that for now. I'll click it in properly later. Well, there we go. So yeah, I only paid six pounds uh, for this, which I just wanted a loose version of this. I actually have um, two of these that are uh, brand new in box, but I did want a, a loose one, and well, I spotted this on eBay. Couldn't resist. Yeah, interestingly, the black and white version uh, has the correct. Ooh. There we go. The black and white version has the correct blackness around the eye, if it could have a focus. So yeah, that eye should not be silver. Around there, it should be black. Which, seriously, how did the black and white one get, get this right and the colour one didn't? Even though that they were released at the same time. There we go. There we go. Okay. Gun is in properly. So yeah, overall, really happy to have this figure uh, in loose form, and I'm happy with the price I paid for it as well. It's a shame that because um, we were supposed to get this in a sound effects garlic weave and da sound effects garlic weave two, I believe. At least it was one of the ones that was showing off, so it is unfortunate that we didn't get it. But uh, yeah, whatever. It's, ni it's nice I've got it now. Um, 
I did actually at one point actually have a custom of this which was the saucer pilot Dalek just repainted um, unfortunately the paint I use actually um, started to flake off and chip off because I used some really cheap paints which uh, clearly didn't work it very well so yeah that was all fun anyway I don't know what else to particularly say right now so yay for Dalek sec okay so we've got a package here and I can already tell this is going to be something from Big Finish interesting though this is um, if you notice here it says Royal Mail interestingly though at the time recording this uh, this week the um, Big Finish exclusive uh, Dr. Dalek 2 packs came out but they were sent via DPD so which is odd because normally Big Finish send everything via Royal Mail got the Vortex magazine which I'm sure everyone loves and wants to read there we go cardboard and here it is Doctor Who the 8th Doctor The Time War Volume 3 hooray 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 so yeah I, I have actually listened to the full thing and uh, what is nice is oh look at this four separate CD cases yeah it's uh, not one of them jewel jewel cases where it can fit up to six discs it's actually you know four separate cases with uh, the fourth case also including the fifth disc which is the behind the scenes stuff you'll see information on the back and is literally reflecting off every single fucking thing in shot um, some people have said oh why don't you do it where it's non-reflective no matter where I go it's reflective and I'm not un it's the cellophane which I'm not unsealing um, I will do, you know what, I'll do a quick review on each story, shall I? So, uh, the first story, State of Bliss by Matt Fitton. Um, it's interesting. I'm not overly fussed on X. But, it does, you know, it does give uh, the Eighth Doctor's companions throughout the Time War Box X Bliss an actual story. Because she kind of just feels like a fill-in character until... Essentially, really, this box says where we actually get, you know, some characterization of her. Uh, the Famished Land, uh, yeah, not another story about, uh, you know, how the Time War is or isn't affecting people and uh, what people go to precautions to not get involved with it. And then Fugitive Time. Yay! It's, Fugitive Time is actually the first story in the box set that actually does feature the Daleks and the Daleks' time controller in it. Um, not time controller, time strategist. And in the War Valyard, well, obviously, you know, duh, it's a story with the Valyard. Um, the Daleks, though, aren't really in this box set, despite being an, on the front cover. They feature very very likely in the box set to be honest it's more like cameos appearances more than anything else you know which is a shame because despite the time war these being time war box sets the Daleks barely feature in them I kinda see why they're doing this is because obviously you know it's gonna get pretty old when every single story features the Daleks in it so I can kinda see that why but then when they're just blatantly leaving them out it kind of just goes in the complete opposite direction so yeah hopefully the 8th Doctor of the Time War um, volume 4 you know bring the Daleks back into this properly and uh, I think in December we get the War Master volume 4 as well in December this year which is called Anti-Genesis which uh, from the trailer it seems it does feature the Daleks quite heavily so that's good because they didn't feature at all in the previous one so yeah and it is you know nice up there all in separate ones because a lot of big finished box sets recently have just done the single artwork on the front and then you know like this whereas these ones do have separate artwork however seeing that 
Uh, the separate artwork for each story is a bit shite, heck, to be honest. Bye. Get my phone out, because I've still got these saved. So, yeah, uh, let's flip this round. So, here we go. Here's the artwork for State of Bliss. Yeah, pretty, pretty boring, to be honest. Pretty generic. Obviously, I mean, title cover art. Then we've got the Famish Land. Again, eh. Also, for some weird reason, um, yeah, we went out of focus there. Some weird reason, why have they photoshopped the 8th Doctor Sonic to look like it lights up, even though this version of the Sonic doesn't? Then we've got few, uh, I can't actually see that, Future Saving Time. That is blatantly just reused. The, the Dalek Time Strategist. Uh, that image is basically just reused from the War Doctor box sets. And that is um, our new General Alistra. And then we've got the War of Aliag, which probably has the best cover out of the three. And interestingly, all these, uh, Paul McGann is always holding a sonic screwdriver because obviously they're all taken from Night of the Doctor. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I do recommend this box set. I do think it is a lot better than the 8th Doctor of the Time War Volume 1, but it's not as good as, uh, sorry, the 8th Doctor of the Time War Volume 2, but not as good as Volume 1. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, and complete with shitty logo for you. Plastered on every fucking side imaginable apart from the bottom. Yay. Right, so we got a big box and I am struggling to lean over the camera for this one. So we'll just have to see uh, how we go with this. Um, yeah, I've literally gotten... Come on. No room. You would not believe how far I am stretching right now to get to this box. There we go. Okay. Right. Ah, okay. So we've got bubble wrap, no packing peanuts, that is good. There's one of these things. Okay. So yeah, it's another comet makes got Ooh, that's interesting. That is interesting that it does that. Uh, yeah, comet makes Um assembled not too bad actually. Uh it is missing a dome light on the side. Yes, there. But I can probably get a replacement for that. And the eye would need repaint. Interestingly, they've gave it uh, the baby blue, really light baby blue hemispheres. Which is interesting. And uh, if you can hear a dog barking, that's my neighbours. Yeah. Next thing, oh, where is his eye? Ah, where's the rest of his plunger? It's come off as well, but let's put his eye on. Maybe. Right. Oh, look at the fluff on the base of this. Seriously. 
What the hell is up with that fluff on the base? Just noticed that the uh, lights inside there, the LEDs, are pretty wobbly as well. I swear in the picture he had his uh, cup from the plunger. It might be in here somewhere, although I might have to check um, the picture again. Here's another Comet Miniatures Dalek. Which does look really nice. It's all in black. With silver hemisphere, so it's it's kind of like an, pretty much an hi a hybrid. Come with that weird dome that springs back like that. I won't move it anymore because I think I might break it otherwise, but yeah. It's interesting. Those are far too far back as well. The rings on this one. But yeah, it's almost like a hybrid between the Supreme Dalek from Resurrection and Remembrance. And interestingly, I don't know how well this is going to come across. Come on, there we go. You can see there, they painted the end bit black, but the rest of it is silver. Which is interesting, yeah. Not bad. And by the way, um, uh, this box of stuff, everything in it, cost me £40. And we're not quite done yet. <laughs> Try to find the room to put them. Right, so, access empty bubble wrap. Just a load of. Now this was the one that caught my eye. It's a movie Dalek. Yeah, and I'm going to put the camera up a bit actually. I should have done this earlier. There we go, put it a bit. So yeah, same thing with the head. is weird. Claws done pretty well. These, now this is a common problem, they cut the, they always cut the band sections far, far too thin on a lot of them. They cut them really thin. And also they always misalign these the struts going down, which is annoying, but the rest of it looks pretty good, apart from this Yeah, real dirt on there. I'll have to clean that off. And fucking hell! Just notice this on the back. What the fuck is that? And that everything seems fine. It's got a matte finish rather than what it should be is a glossy so that's uh, incorrect though the actual colours are right it should just be glossy actually in the light you can have a better look at this one yeah I think that was it if I remember rightly um, Let me just check uh, my eBay. Yeah, the Dalek definitely should have its plunger cup. So, yeah, it's the four of them, but the Dalek should have its uh, plunger cup. You can see there, um, 40 pound. I can watch. Now, um, yeah, give me a second, I'm going to have a look in this box, see if I can find the plunger cup. Yeah, the plunger cup is just gone completely missing. Um, I don't know where it is. Well, I know where it possibly can be, is at the seller's house, um, so 
basically I'm going to contact the seller and say one of the no, is missing H plung J cup and just to be on the safe side we will take a picture There we go, and I uh, will send that off to the seller, and uh, actually, I haven't checked the battery compartment on this, just to see if they hid it in there, oh my, fucking god, look at those, they have corroded alright, I'll have to deal with them later, but, holy shit, did they leave them in? And they're Duracells as well. Bloody hell. Anyway, that was it for this time, so yeah. Tassy, bye. Where are you? You might as well come out. Oh well, I tried it the easy way. Now it's time to try it the fun way. Were you expecting me to use a tissue compression eliminator? I could have, I could have very easily. In fact, I actually have one. Yeah, pretty easy to make actually. Uh, all I did was modify a PlayStation Move controller. It was the right shape and everything. Just had a little ping pong wall down the end. Perfect. Though I decided to be less more cliched and more myself. More enjoyable, I'd say. So come on out. You and me both know. It's gone on long enough. It's time to end this. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> oh. And you call me the Magwon bringing a pizza cutter to a knife fight. <laughs> oh no 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 no, this isn't just a pizza cutter. It's a reverberator, repankulize, re vivification, re reverse the neutron plow, revavadisa backfire thing. And now it's activated. Stay back. <laughs> You're making shit up. Yeah, fair enough. Though I tell you what though. It makes a pretty good distraction. You've just pulled a ligament there in my back, so tell you what, let's make this a bit easier, okay? You do exactly, and I mean exactly what I say. And you know what? I'll let you live. I'll let you live. But if you don't, well, I might not be able to kill you with this knife at the moment. 
But I tell you what though. It's going to be absolutely perfect for slitting between that little bone in the back of the neck. You know the little bone back there they used to torture prisoners by putting a meek hook in and lifting them up by? Yeah, perfect for this knife to slit in. And there's two people I know <laughs> that you would do anything. Silky Smooth Jeffrey and Antonio Banderas. You do what I say. Or, well, I might just end up eating them in front of you. <laughs> you got me. There's nothing left I can do. Except one thing. Terminate everything. The end. You and I only currently exist in this items to unbox video. So, what if I was to end it all, here, right now? And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Yeah. Mm.